Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to be stepping right back into another episode of our DLC Weapons Spotlight. Today we're going to be checking out the Beast Cutter, uh, which is um, apparently the longest range weapon or melee weapon on the game. That's what I've heard. I'm not sure if that's completely true or not, but that's what we're here to find out. I've never used this weapon. I don't think I've swung it like just once. Maybe once when I picked up the first time I did the blind playthrough. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, but anyway guys, uh, let's check it out a bit, uh, so it, stack, it actually stacks C with strength, I believe, but because I've got um, one of the uh, gems on, and it gives me more strength scaling, so I've got that up to B, and as you can see, it's just pure physical damage or attack, it does scale D with arcane, but once again, we don't have any arcane base damage, so that doesn't really matter unless we um, enchant it with uh, arcane, so yeah, so it's pure physical damage, uh, I guess we may enchart it, um, we'll try, I'm sure we'll try it out uh, Uncharted with Arcane. Uh, so yeah guys, uh, it's obviously at plus 10, uh, today we're going to be doing this part of uh, Menza's Nightmare. Mm, not sure if we'll finish it, I mean I'm not sure if we'll kill uh, Murgo or not, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Let's, let's just see how, we, how it goes, because uh, I'm on New Game plus 3 at the moment and um, shit gets serious. I'm not doing too much damage against this guy, we're going to get... Quite fast though, I thought it was going to be a bit slow. I'm not going to actually screw around much around here. I want to get inside the actual building just to not get frenzied uh, by this guy. I hate this part. Maybe we'll kill this guy maybe. Try this first. Ooh, then, wow, that's why I probably shouldn't have hanged around there for that long. I, I was thinking, at the start, I don't know, I was expecting a slight bit more damage than that, but uh, I, I guess if you look at the stats, we're only getting like a total of. Uh, three to four hundred damage. I didn't actually look at it. I think I, I remember it was two hundred bonus damage, but the base weren't exactly that much. So, yeah, it's not exactly a damaging weapon by the looks of things. So we get a hundred about. Yeah, we got about four hundred uh, damage in total, all physical damage. So that's not all that decent at the moment. Uh, I'm sure it will come in. I'm sure it's got its good side. Like, like I said, apparently it's the most longest range weapon in the game. So if that's true, I guess that's the upside to it. If we can outrange pretty much all the other weapons, but I'm guessing that would be like that'd probably be more be more of a good feature for PvP if people have got other um, weapons. But uh, PVE, I'm pretty sure there's thousands of enemies that will outrange me, so not much good there. Right, let's start killing some stuff around here. This probably isn't going to go too well. I got a really bad feeling about this episode, to be honest. When Murgo is an um, Mensa's nightmare, new game plus three. With a pretty weak weapon, not too much bad, not too bad damage against that guy, but it's probably because we have got it enchanted, and like we did say, it, um, it does stack a bit with arcane. Are you gonna get down or? I'm not sure it's a good idea to mess with all these spiders, to be honest, especially the big motherfucker. The, the good thing, like, with this, but oh my, that damage is out of this fucking world on New Game Plus Plus Plus. Whose great idea was it to do a weapon spotlight New Game Plus 3? I love how the big motherfucker got my souls, that's so unfair. Anyway. This guy won't jump down until we're in here, right? There we go. Yeah, not too bad. It does arcane actually do. Oh my god! Damage. Not sure if arcane really gives it much of a boost against these guys. I can't really notice it at all. Maybe a, a tiny bit. We are getting, we're going to get raped by these guys if we stick around here. What's the R2 do? Not going to try it out actually. Unless they all come after me. If I get hit by that big guy, I know I'm going to get insta guilt. Whack. Not, that's pretty good damage actually. But I think the spiders are rather squishy, so that's probably one of the main reasons we are going to be out of Estus or Blood Bowl so quick this video. Help! Doing. So dead. It's quick, but not quick enough. Oh! Oh, that guy's not dead. Is that? <gasps> oh, crap. All right, there's a different one. Whew. Wow, we killed all that. I'm not going to go back for the uh, big guy. Obviously, that'd just be suicide. 
I, I have so little possibilities to kill this guy, it's not even funny. Oh, what the fuck is that damage? <gasps> I do so little damage too, man. It's so unfair. I need a parry of, I think. There we go. Don't worry, not gonna kill him, man. <laughs> Holy shit! Wow, that little damage is ridiculous. The only good thing about this weapon so far is it's fairly fast, but at least this version of it. I've got a feeling I'm not gonna try the, next, the other version out quite yet. Dude, that is so, so unfair. Oh, crap. Die, die, die. Oh, nearly died that at the end. Wow, that's okay. Okay, we killed him. Great. Um, step back. It's a stab. Okay. Use the devs. Uh, we need to activate this uh, elevator as an emergency because it's just this tiny bit of the levels already feel like hell. Luckily, um, this part of the level isn't actually that long, but I've got a feeling that it's probably going to take a while to get through. You can actually healthy though. It's not really that I don't do that much damage, it's just that everybody gets so much uh, health on New Game Plus for it. It's ridiculous. Well, I guess these guys have the chance to try the other version of the weapon out. The good thing is, like, even when it's a bow, you can still use your gun, so it's still technically a one-handed. But yeah, this just gets a lot more range. But obviously, little damage, as you can probably see. What's the R2? You can't charge the R2 up, which is kind of interesting. I just want to see how much range this thing actually has. Can we hit him from here? No, not quite. What about with the R2? Yeah. What about from here? Oh, that is actually pretty nice range. Not quite there, but yeah, the range is quite nice. I'm guessing it is longer than the whip's range. I haven't really used the whip that much, but yeah. Not bad, not bad. Uh, maybe these guys have a bit of resistance against um, Arcane. I could be wrong, I'm not really sure. I'm pretty scared of this guy, to be honest. So yeah, I think I still definitely prefer the uh, shorter version of it because it's a lot faster, it does a bit more damage. It's nice sluggish, I don't know. Can you let me go, please? Thank you. Okay. Um, 290. I just want to see if these guys do have... I do. Yeah, okay. These guys actually do have quite a bit of resistance to Arcane. I'm guessing that means this guy does too. Whoa, 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 Holy shit, that damage on that guy, right, I'm getting the fuck out of this, sorry about that, mate. Holy shit. That was some damage. It's just ridiculous how in New Game Plus 3 everybody does so much damage. I literally got all the stats up 40, except I can but... Die by birds! I can't die by birds. I don't think I've ever died by birds in this game. Or dog birds, whatever. That's a dog. Even the birds do damage on New Game Plus 3. The birds never do that much damage, they're just annoying as hell. But on New Game Plus 3, they literally just tear you apart in 3 or 4 attacks. I think there's a blood uh, a, a chunk down here, which I need. No? Yeah, yeah, there it is. Good shit. I only just realised that these dogs have got, um, beaks on them. I never knew it could be the other way around. I mean, I've, I've seen loads of these guys, like birds with dog heads, but I didn't know it could be the other way around. I've never actually noticed that. Learn stuff every day, I guess. I'm going to actually go and activate this, uh, bonfire down here. Or length, and whatever you want to call it. Yeah, uh, definitely not enjoying this weapon so far. I mean, the R1, like the one-handed, or not the one-handed, they're both one-handed. But this version, the short version, seems okay just because of the speed it's got. But the damage isn't exactly brilliant. I mean, it's not 
it's not terribly bad, but um, it could be better. But I think also I'm having a bit of un, um, bad luck because I'm in an area where most of the uh, most of the enemies um, have high defenses and even more defenses against arcane, and that's what I'm enchanting it with. So that could be a bit of the issue here. Alright, let's see if we can at least kill this boss. Um, so I'm not sure if we're going to get any further. I don't think we're going to kill the um, the wet nurse. At least with this weapon. I mean, I should kill him anyway, but... Just not with this weapon. Just depend how short this video is. It may be a bit short, and I apologise for that. But, uh, to be honest, it doesn't really seem like there's much left to show about. It's what I'm... Because they're both one-handed versions, none of the versions have got um, an L2 attack. Which I could have been a, a cool, quite cool L2 attack with this weapon. I mean, quite a unique weapon and they could have done a more interesting moveset, but I guess not. Actually, I want to see what um, what it does if I, if I switch after doing one attack. Now switch. That's pretty cool. That looks like it's got massive range. What about the other way around? I'm not sure if there's the best to be trying this shit, but whatever. Now we switch. Okay, it kind of stabs the floor a bit. I can outrange you, mother. Well, I don't think I can quite outrange him, but it's pretty good against this boss actually because we can stand back quite a while and then we just step back a tiny bit. And we don't have to worry about stepping sideways or anything. We just hit him back off a tiny bit. Oh. I'm done. I'll just get into your stupid room, you piece of shit. God damn it. Wow, finally. <sighs> right then. Why the hell did I put Arcane on it again? Pretty sure it's well, pretty sure it's weak against it. No, we're not doing our special I mean tactic that I thought was going so well this time. You can get away from it if you don't mind, please, thank you very much. Right then. You have to go back to the old tactic. That's not it. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? It's really been that long since I've fought this guy. At least I survived. I just didn't think I would survive that. What we have to do is just walk to the side. Or just make sure you don't do it. You get out of the corner, please. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. It must be hilarious how much damage Call uh, Call Beyond does when it's in the other room. I did 400 and something damage right with the arcane stuff. How much did I do? No, I obviously didn't do 400. How much damage did I do then? No, okay. Okay, it looks like it is slightly still better with the arcane stuff on. This could take a while. Right, just hopefully that in the next room he'll go back into his room quicker than this time because bloody hell, I've never seen him stay out of his, like, take so long to go into his room. Alright, I, I want to try a tiny bit more of this version of the weapon out before ending the video, but I don't think it's going to really... I prefer if we work beside the guy with the bow and arrow, what kills you in, like, one hit. A crossbow, whatever it is. Oh, oh shit. So it looks like the, uh, I don't know, okay, so the step back one's really long range, but I'm pretty sure the, yeah, the step forward one keeps it really short still, it's like it was in the other version, if we do like a, a step to the side and then hit him. Oh, I really don't like this fucking version of it though, so slow, and weaker, there we go, much prefer this stuff.
Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm nearly there, mate. Hang on. Is that a chunk? Yep. Getting those chunkios. I don't think I should have done that, actually. I should have jumped down the other way. Oh, uh, don't start going around in circles again, mate. Ah. Okay, this is okay. Now if we can, we can get him to go to the right. There we go, perfect. I'm not going to make it in there with him, so I'm just going to go around. If I land, I need, I need to like land on top of him, literally. If not, it's just going to do a call beyond, and it's just going to, like... I don't even think I need to end that phrase, actually, or that sentence. Okay. This could be pretty bad. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I got him. Oh, just about. Holy shit, that could be so bad. Can't give him time to do a call beyond. Because if he does that shit, I am so, so dead. No! No, no, it's gonna get time. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. It's, I'm dead. I'm dead. Bye, guys. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, God. No, I thought it was too good to be true. What is that? Well, in a way, that took a bit longer than I expected, but uh, I'm actually kind of surprised I beat him with this weapon on New Game Plus 3. Um, not because it's exactly a bad weapon, more about my lack of skill at this point. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I apologise uh, if it's a short video. I don't think it'll be that short, actually, because um, we did have a few hiccups. But uh, yeah, guys, um, if you enjoyed this, please give it a like and subscribe. Uh, also, you can follow me on Twitch, uh, links in the description. If I don't upload videos most of the nights, I will be um, streaming on there. Uh, also, follow me on Twitter if you want to know when I'm going live or any other random crap that I say. Uh, so, yeah, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time, guys.